Happy Memorial Day, everybody. How you doing? Hello, guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to One Little Spark. We're doing a stream, I mean, we're not doing a stream today. We're doing a vlog today. <laughs> oh, yeah. It has, I feel like it's so weird when we make a vlog now because we're so used to streaming. Yeah, it's like, it's a little weird talking to the camera. <laughs> um, I'm so used to talking to you guys, but. I know. Let's go have some fun, yeah? I know, I'm excited. Oh, by the way, New Year's. Check them out. <laughs> I like them, I like them. Let's go. <laughs> and first stop, you already know. Oh, that smell, that smell, right? I love the smell of this place. So it's so distinct. It's like, yeah, it's like, you know it's Spanish first. Ready? <laughs> I've never ridden this ride in Spanish. <laughs> Gracias, Felicians. The dawn of the Renaissance. So we just got off of Spaceship Earth. That was really, really cool because we did the whole ride in Spanish, which we never, ever do. So it was a very different experience. So now we're getting some coffee. We're getting that Joffrey's coffee. So we'll show you guys that. Ooh. That's some good looking coffee. <laughs> Caramel iced latte with almond milk. Ooh. He actually put regular milk first and uh, had to tell him, sorry man, we asked for it with almond milk because Jessica doesn't do well with milk. I don't do well with milk, but it's okay. So let's drink this coffee and uh, see where the night takes us. All right, so we're gonna get some food at World Showcase. We're gonna cut right, go that way, see what we can find to eat. But look at this view, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love these pods. Whatever these are floating in the water. What are these, babe? What would you call these? Kind of like... Like pods? Pods, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we stopped by the Citrus Blossom. And Lewis really, really wants to try that citrus braised crispy pork belly. So let's go ahead and try that. Never tried that before. We got the pork belly. Don't know how that looks. Don't know if it looks too dark here, but looks delicious in person. Then we got the lobster salad. Yeah. Uh, all right, so the pork, honestly, the pork was all right. And the lobster was okay too. We're not sure if it's raw or cooked. Um, it's really cold though, and I don't like cold lobster. Yeah, it was still really good though. Like it was honestly like it was really savory. Like the salad itself was really refreshing. Um, the pork, is it the pork belly? Yeah, the pork the belly. The pork belly, like it has two layers. So the, the top layer it's is like fat. It's all fat. So like the, the bottom layer, uh, the bottom layer I'm sure is like much better. I didn't taste it. Um, it was all right though. Well, overall, like it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It I give it a five. Five for both? Uh, I give the lobster like a four. I give that like a five. Duckies! Hello little ones. Okay, so we stopped by Northern Bloom because Citrus Blossom was uh, somewhat of a fail. So we're gonna get the seared scallops served with French green beans, butter potatoes, brown butter vinaigrette, and applewood smoked bacon. And then we're also gonna get the beef tenderloin tips um, served with mushroom. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Bordelaise sauce and whipped potatoes with garden vegetables. Yum! So the food we just got is actually inside of Canada, which we'll show you guys the food right now. We're gonna go to a less windy place. This is pretty beautiful. We don't really come in here too often. So, we like to explore somewhat new places that we've never been to before, haven't been to in a while. Wow. Look at that. I just wanted to show you guys, this is the seared scallops right here, and then we have the beef tenderloin tips, and dude, they look incredible. If you guys could smell this. Yeah. It this, smells so amazing. This looks a lot more promising than the citrus blossom. <laughs> what yeah, do you think? 
that other stuff was not too great. A lot of the stuff at Flower and Garden, sorry to say, Disney, it's not the best, man, you know? <laughs> well, that's fine. Food and Wine Festival is so much better. Oh, Food and Wine Festival is pretty delicious. So let's go ahead and give this a try. The scallops, there's, there's too much of something in here. I, I can't really put my finger on it, but I'll, I'll give it like a five. Yeah? I'll give it like a five. I like the potatoes. Something about the potatoes tasted a bit off though. I feel like we're being so judgmental with the yeah. food today. Sorry, yeah, I caught. We're critics. We're food critics, man. <laughs> but hey, the beef tenderloin tips. Oh, this was really, really good. Like oh. the mashed potatoes and just like the meat itself. Everything was so nice and, the, oh, and tender. So good, yeah. I give Perfect. that like an eight or a nine. This is it's really, really good. I give that a solid eight or a nine, yeah, yeah. for sure. The scallops were good though, but you're right. Something about it just tastes a bit off. But I still eat it though. And they're cold. You know? I still eat it though. No, I would still eat it too, but it's not the best, you know? This I've had I've had better scallops. Maybe it's because I'm from Florida. So um, I've tried like the world's greatest scallops. And so I'm judging these scallops a lot. <laughs> mm. Can I can I get another bite of that please? Yeah, yeah. Here. Let's get Lewis. This is a pretty big piece. Do you want the whole piece? No, you're gonna have to cut that. Okay, well I'll take a little bit. Mm. Give me that. Mm. Have it with some mashy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good. Good stuff. Recommend. What is the beef? The beef tenderloin. Beef tenderloin tips from Canada. Recommend 100%. Okay, so we just ate our food right here, and then if you keep going, it's this beautiful little hidden gem here in back Canada. So beautiful. Wow. Wow. There's a show in here, Canada Far and Wide. Look at how nice this is, everyone. Dude, we're gonna go watch that show. I've never seen, I never even knew there was a show here. You wanna go watch it? Go. Let's go watch it. <laughs> awesome. Guys, I've been coming to Epcot my whole life. I literally live here. Yeah. I never even knew this existed. This is crazy. Look at this. This place is all to ourselves right now. Dude, we gotta live stream this. And I have a feeling we're gonna have it all to ourselves right now. Right? This is awesome. This is cool. I like this. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to our Circle Vision 360 Theater. Come what on the in. heck? Choose any role you'd like. Make sure you're standing on the green circles on the ground, please. Up to four guests for a green circle. Dude, this is crazy. Wow, this is beautiful. I've never seen this in my life. No matter where you travel throughout the country, one thing you'll discover is that Canadians thrive on and embrace the public exploration of And the best way to really know this country is to experience it yourself. So come visit our Canada. We'd love to have you. I can't believe I've never seen that in my life. And you know what's funny is that I do recall hearing that song at least once, the Old Canada song, but I had never seen that show ever. Canada Far and Wide, man. You guys should check it out. It's in the back of Canada. Yes. Go look at it. It's a 360 theater. Yeah. It's beautiful. So let the, let the vlog know what we just found out right now. So they actually have, I'm gonna actually flip the camera. Hold on. So they actually give out these little stickers at every single country. And if you collect all of them, they give you a postcard. That's cool, So right? I think we're gonna plan that out, maybe do that on a live stream one day. But I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> you already know where we're going. Look at that. Zero minute wait, let's go. In line, and look at this. Hey! We didn't write that, by the way. We didn't write that, yeah, we just saw that. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm your 
chore, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the chore. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Just got off a of figment. It's always a good time on figment. You already know we love that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but uh, go tell them. Yeah. So we actually just got some candy in the fig um, in the figment gift shop. So we got some peanuts, my favorite, and then Lewis got these uh, goofy candies. The gummy. They're gummies. Which is his favorite. And then now we're gonna go on. Sorry. By the way, my camera's about to die, so I may have to switch back uh, back to my phone. So, just letting you guys know, I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, just a 25 minute wait for Soren. That's, uh, that's unheard of. That's unheard of. That's so gnarly, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, no line, just a pure walk on, getting on Soren. Oh, that's that's incredible. I've never I've never actually seen this place like this. I know. Pretty great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Front row, baby. That's how we do it. Well, top row, not front row. <laughs> top row, baby. How we do it. <laughs> and of course, these little dudes. Next, This place is incredible. Like I'm always so fascinated by the by this beautiful piece of machinery. It's like it's insane, dude. Let's ride it again. Let's do it. One more minutes to park poses. So we're gonna do it one more time to finish the night that way. <laughs> oh yeah, roll one again. Let's go. We're cool like that. <laughs> All right, guys, that was awesome. We got to ride Soren twice. Basically, no wait the second time. Epcot was awesome. Let's go home. We're going to go watch Cruella de Vil. Well, Cruella. It's not Cruella de Vil. You guys understand. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and watch this. We were actually just talking about this, and uh, we actually thought it was pretty random that they picked Emma Stone for Cruella. Like, no offense. Like, I'm not, I have nothing against Emma Stone, but shouldn't Cruella be like an older woman? Yeah. I mean, 
may, maybe I think the movie's about like, maybe it's her when she was younger. Yes, her when she was younger. Like I think like the before Cruella became Cruella Deville and how she became Cruella Deville. All right, we don't know though. So like yeah, so I have no idea. We're going into this with like no expectations, but I have a feeling I'm gonna like it. What do you think? I guess I don't know. Let's let's find out. We'll let you guys okay. know what we okay. think after. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, movie's that, crazy. that movie's crazy, dude. That's like, let's wait. We're gonna get copyrighted for this. Let's uh, let's pause that. All right, but yeah, I did not expect that at all. Did you expect that? No. I thought it was actually pretty good. No, it was. It was amazing. I, like it was. It was awesome. Honestly, I feel like for those of you who have watched 101 Dalmatians, like. Like it really, really brought like a crazy backstory to. It was just insane, dude. I don't yeah. know. You guys gotta watch it though. Like I thought it was actually pretty good. I thought it was a really good movie, actually. Like I actually really enjoyed it. No, me too. I really, really liked it. Honestly, I recommend it. I think the thirty dollars are worth it. Like that's how much you would spend at a movie theater. Yeah. Like what, like twelve, fifteen dollars per person? Yeah, yeah. It's actually yeah. yeah. If you have like a big family, it's yeah. actually cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper, of course. So like, um. It's, it's whatever I, I don't want to ruin the movie for you guys yeah. though but it's it's a crazy movie you guys yeah. you guys gotta go watch it once i'll talk about it in a few months once we all watch it i know <laughs> but it's a crazy movie dude like mm -hmm. oh my gosh emma stone dude emma stone good job it. man like good job like i i love emma stone and i watch a lot of her movies and like i did i was like emma stone who she's cruella like, dude she did about. so good <laughs> she did so good like i forgot it was emma stone like, the whole that time movie, I, like, I, I didn't feel like i was watching a disney movie it was like it was yeah, intense it was intense ha yes ha right ha it had me at the edge of my seat the whole time right we were just like is this movie for kids <laughs> <laughs> um so whatever guys yes yeah, so we had a good time tonight went yeah to we did. Tonight. um basically just had a disney night i know and, uh, thanks for hanging out with us we're gonna watch the bad batch now star wars the bad batch but, we, yeah. but we're gonna leave you guys here and uh just want to say, say thank you for sticking through this whole video if you got mm -hmm. to this point of the video and uh We'll catch you guys later. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Hope you have a good day or a good night wherever you are. Bye. Bye.